Hi everyone, I'm Eric Germ, and I've found that if you do the same shtick with your comedy, except you wear a different hat and play different guitar chords, no one can call you a one-trick pony. So let's get at it. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I was a heavy sleeper before I lost some weight. I'm kind of a bad boy, but not like bad, bad, more like Michael Jackson's bad, but also not Michael Jackson bad. Uh, oh, hmm. Okay. Should have, should have reheard. Uh, maybe I should, maybe I should start that joke over. Don't want to send the wrong message. I've been called a badass, but it's not because I'm tough. It's because my ass is... No good. Aside from occasionally tossing ice cubes at the sun, I'm personally not doing much to combat climate change. I'm not a mean person by nature, so my insults aren't very good. For example, when they were giving out brains, you thought they said gains, and so you spent all your time working out and getting fit. And now you look great, you piece of shit. One time I thought I saw a Sasquatch in my backyard. But it ended up being just a run-of-the-mill gorilla. Sometimes I like to dress up as a wishing well. And interrupt conversations with... I would like to speak as well. Forrest Gump was on today. Did the writers just forget that Lieutenant Dan had legs? It's halfway through the movie, they just disappear. Bad writing. My wife gave me an ultimatum, which was great since I already had identity and supremacy. Are these Jason Bourne jokes doing anything for you? Because, full disclosure, they're like a good 88% of my act. The other day, a T-800 cyborg android with bio-robotic human tissue grafted onto a metal endoskeleton came up to me. Stop me if you've heard this one. And he said, Come with me if you want to live. So I just walked the other way. Because I didn't want to waste his time. I was raised Catholic. And this year for Lent, I gave up. You may think that joke would anger God, but I'm not concerned. I mean, just look at a pug. Do you think, honestly think that there's anybody up there keeping an eye on shit down here? I listen to a lot of music, which is how I differ from most people. And I know it's a great song and everything, but the line, no time for losers because we are the champions, is like such a shitty thing to say when you've already won. I was listening to another song the other day and it went, play that funky music, white boy. And I was like, sure. And then it was like, play that funky music right. And I was like, okay, sounds good to me. Lay down that boogie. Oh, I'll lay it down, baby. And play that funky music till you die. What? Somebody once asked, could I spare some change for gas? I need to get myself away from this place. And I said, wow, what a concept. I could use a little fuel myself, and we could all use a little change. But then the guy was like, okay, but can I have the money or no? Because I asked and you didn't really answer me. You know what Alexander Hamilton says when it's cold? Burr. 
In entertainment news, he certainly went from Carson Daly to Carson every once in a while, huh? I was going to go see Avengers Endgame in theaters, but I was concerned because the only MCU movies I had seen were Iron Man 2 and The Iron Lady starring Meryl Streep. So will I understand what's going on in the movie? If Universal Studios was truly universal, then why does their logo only feature a single planet? Everyone's talking about how great Adam Driver is in Marriage Story. But when I shout at Scarlett Johansson and punch the wall, I get knocked out by her security team. Let's face it, if Sid from Toy Story was born maybe 10 years later, he'd have the most popular channel on YouTube. He'd be the most famous person in that movie. When Jack died at the end of Titanic, spoilers, he evacuated his bowels. And then Rose went and jumped into that same water. I mean, her mouth went under and everything. Finally tonight, I'd like to end on a high note. We live in 2020, essentially the future, and I've compiled a list of all the great things to appreciate about living in the future. Number one, we all have flashlights on our phones, so we have a light whenever we need it. And number two, moving on. All right, everyone, that's it for me. I think I'm going to go hit the sack and... Then I'll probably go to bed. Good night.